Oh, it's not boring. <laughs> I just have higher standards, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll call it barren, not boring. A barren. There we go. Barren, not boring. All right, you can come in. We'll give a couple seconds to the lasers, and then you can kill it. Or compile it. Okay. So I like animals with my rocks. You know, they got yeah. like vegetables with your meat. Yeah. Animals <laughs> with their... <laughs> All right, Scott. So what do we got here? Yeah, okay. Is that another one of those? Blue Gorgia? No, it's not. Do our lasers off? This is a C pen. Uh, I'm can, pretty sure. The lasers. Okay. They're gone now. Scott, would you agree? Are we looking yeah. at a penetulid? Scott says got yes. C-pen. He's got it. Okay. Fertile star. Oh, just no, just maybe Halapterus. That's what he's saying. Uh, I don't know about that, Scott. <laughs> may have to differ from that because I am not seeing the spines on the actual sheath that down. the polyp should yes. be coming out of. That's definitive for a lipris, but they're going to look at some others. Uh oh. Maybe we are seeing some spines. Co pilot, uh, we just finished that move. Uh, Copy that, Av. Uh, hard to say. Scott might be right on this one. Could be helipterous. Almost very transparent helipterous, though, if it is. I'm bouncing around a lot. I mean, I'm right under you. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah, and I'm not sure why that is. There's definitely current tugging on that oh, tether. Uh, maybe the current's just tugging my tether around. Sorry, video. We'll get, we'll get ourselves situated here. Uh, it's really hard to see the, the sheaths when it's so transparent, so I'm not sure I saw spines either. Scott sort of doesn't really notice any of the spines either, but yeah. It's got a really nice uh, brittle star hanging onto it. Seconds here, and we'll take off. Okay, getting a quick establishment. Yeah, I have yet so zero. Pens, um, since we do you want to view our? I have to uh, put another move. The last one just ended. They are octocorals. Yeah. We found another 30 meters. And they're related to they're related right, to that pleurogorgia that we just saw okay, in that's that. Okay, going to be 30 meters. And, and, and they're eight pinnacles, which heading. means they've got the little. Yeah, sub I think that's. I don't know what you call them. Good. Pinules, I guess, that are coming off of the tentacles. Bridge, this is Nav. Uh, he might times, actually so know. We'll Perhaps Scott would know, but I Come have no in. clue. Okay, another close torture. Okay, gonna Oops. Monk. I'll get it back. Don't worry. Just. So uh, Scott and Diva have both identified this as a Chrysogorgia. Um, so I would agree with that as well. And it could be something like Chrysogorgia stellata, but I'm not really sure. But we think the genus is correct. That it's in the family Chrysogorgiidae and possibly in the genus Chrysogorgia. And it's got a little squat lobster in the middle of it. Couple seconds Many here. of these chrysogorgids we'll have this going. little uh, crustacean right, in there, and then oftentimes they're in the genus uh, Europtychus. And we know that genus because Mary uh, Wickstein from Texas A&M 